My name is Mark Lewicki, and I am the Senior Product Manager for the Adobe PDF Print Engine. I'm here in Tokyo for the launch of XMF6, which is based on PDF Print Engine version 3. The PDF Print Engine was launched in 2006, uh, and I'm happy to report that Fujifilm uh, developed its product line, XMF, based on this new technology. One of the strengths of all versions of the Print Engine is that it uses the same core PDF technology from Adobe, which is used by the other applications in the workflow. These include the authoring applications, such as InDesign, Illustrator, and Photoshop. It also includes applications such as Adobe Reader and Acrobat for managing the PDF files, proofing them, viewing them, reviewing them on the screen, and then the same technology is used to output the files. The result is a very reliable, consistent, predictable workflow with fewer errors and more accurate reproduction of the creative content. Designers today are using the latest version of these creative cloud tools and they are creating new designs with more challenging effects to print. And you need to have uh, the most reliable technology to print them. And that is the core strength of the Adobe PDF print engine. Now variable data printing is critical for the success of digital printing. And the reason is that it provides a very high return on investment for marketing campaigns. If more relevant content is presented to the user, they are more likely to respond to it and they are more likely to make purchases. So sales go up with variable data printing because the content is more relevant, but it also has to be graphically uh, effective. High impact graphics to win audiences' attention. Today, audiences have mobile devices and web pages, and they need uh, to, their attention. It's a struggle to win their attention. And uh, printing has some very strong uh, elements. It is very high impact. You can hold it in your hand. The colors are richer and stronger than in most online displays. But you need to reproduce them correctly. When you combine that with unique content, such as in variable data printing, uh, you have very effective marketing campaigns. And this is one of the strengths of the Adobe PDF print engine, that printers can use the same workflow for their variable data printing jobs as for their non-variable data printing jobs. The Mercury RIP architecture is a scalable platform which can put together many instances of the PDF print engine working together in parallel. And this is necessary for digital printing, uh, especially when there is variable data printing and every page is unique. In this case, you need to be able to keep up with even the fastest of digital presses, such as uh, the JetPress 540W. So the Mercury RIP architecture work, uh, puts together multiple instances of the Adobe PDF print engine load balances the load and takes advantage of multiple cores inside modern CPU processors. This means that very large jobs can be broken up and the pages can be subdivided, one page being processed in each core. The challenge is to cache the repeating common elements, such as page backgrounds, after they are rasterized and then to retrieve them from the cache and to merge them with the unique variable elements at runtime. And this has to happen very fast. The PDF print engine architecture and the, and the Mercury RIP architecture together are, are the most modern form of variable data printing. And we're very happy that XMF6, based on PDF print engine 3, uses the Mercury RIP architecture to drive the JetPress 540W and the JetPress 720. Thank you for having me here at the launch of XMF6. I know that Fujifilm customers will realize all the performance benefits, the imaging model benefits, by using XMF6 with the Adobe PDF Print Engine 3 
and the Mercury Rip architecture.